Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Kenyan newspaper today have exposed whatever is now happening across the country. As I have two things to say on that newspaper. The first thing is that Kenyan's newspaper Review grief as mom loses five year old son during Mkuru Kwaroben demolition. Remember, I said that I'm going to analyze a video on during housing demolition at Mkuru, the mother lost his, her son as that process was going on. Then Ndoto Yaruto Yapigwa Breki. Ndoto Yaruto Yapigwa Breki. What does that one mean? It means that President Dream have been stopped. That is the newspaper. All those writings are coming from newspaper. And why are these things happening? The newspaper, if you read it very well, if you dwell down there, it narrates on how the mother of five kids was exp uh, expressing her feelings towards the loss of her son at Mkuru Kwarib Ruben demolition. Remember, the government ordered the houses to be demolished when our country was experiencing heavy rainfall and up to now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. The promise which I made is here with us we want to dig deep and find the reaction on the mother after the loss of our baby again we want to find what can be done for us not to repeat ourselves on the same situation or the government itself i want to take this golden chance to thank you very much for your great support to this channel because if it was not your support then this channel could have not reached to where it is as at now thank you for your subscription and to the new subscribers who tune in and subscribe to our channel i want to say thank you very much and to the members as we normally do please consider to give this video a thumb of like when you like this video it will automatically reach to several people in the YouTube platform. Let's proceed with whatever is taking place. Back to political discussion. A few days ago, the current head of state ordered houses demolition in Mkuru Kwareboen, Ruben, because those who are living beside, uh, alongside the river bank were forced to vacate. Now, on this process going on, I don't know if the bulldozer or the one who was using bulldozer touch, hit, hit the baby, young five-year-old son of the mother of five siblings, when he went to rescue, I don't know the age, sorry, when, when, he, when he went to rescue their properties to his mother, on that process, the, sir, the child lost his life. Now, the mother came, and this is whatever the mother said. The mother said, since then, I am just confused. By the time I arrive, 
in what I used in what used to be to be my small house. There was nothing, everything had been stolen and the house demolished, she said. From the time she arrived, everything had been stolen and the houses and the house was demolished. The one mistake which they did, those who were demolishing the houses, is that they were not well prepared and sure if in, in any case there is any living creature in these houses. That is a very big mistake they did. Now they have led to the loss of life to other Kenyans. The mother is still proceeding. From there, I just find a place around or even enter a joint that operates 24 hours and stay there until morning, she said, adding that she was now staying with an elderly, elderly woman. The mother of five was stranded, perplexed, tongue-tied, and grief emerges to her life since she was born in this world of distress. So the government was just after demolishing houses as per instruction from the above. So in that process, they, they, they made loss of life to the young boy of a mother of five children. And that is why today we are seeing whatever is taking place in the newspaper. Grief as mom loses five year old son. Yes, the son was five year old. So that is a very strong news that should just be taken on a serious note. The first question we ought to ask ourselves, will justice be done to the mother? Is there anyone outside there to rescue the mother on that situation? Then if there is no, then our country is now propelled by the evil-minded people. The people whom I don't care are the ones now uh, on the throne running the country. Remember, alienda kutafuta kurudi, unapata mtoto wako ameuawa. Utasema aje, mtoto wako ameuawa, nyumba imebomolewa, you start from zero. Properties have been stolen. You start from zero. Yes, the government has a right to vacate those who are living beside the river bank three meters away because of every rainfall we are experiencing in the country. Not that I am going against that. No. But my main concern here, ladies and gentlemen, why the man who was using the bulldozer, why couldn't he be sensitive enough and even check before he started demolishing the houses? Ask even those who are around him. Kuna mutu ndani kwa hiyo nyumba kabla tujabomua? Waingia wangalia, kama kuna mtoto, awambia, if they saw the child removing their properties to the mother, in fact, as those who are good parents, could have even bothered the same boat with the child, have that compassionate heart, and assist him to remove their properties. Ata kama ni inje, wacha wabamuwa manyumba, empty. 
<laughs> but they have now gone to an extent of not even having feelings for Kenyans and even killing the innocent one. There's no apology right saying that the one who did that have apologized. The government have never comes out and apologized to the loss of five year old son to this mom. The government never come out and say indeed we did wrong. What next shall we do? This is very sad. This is very shocking news we are now experiencing in our news. Ndiyo mana unawana hizi viti zaote zinafanyika ndoto ya ruto inastopishwa. Panic grief imagining in our country every now and then. Now, what should be done on a situation like this? Number one, we must reduce our temper. We must remain humble in this life we are today. Even if you are a politician, ule waju, you must now remain humble. So, and also you must consider that we are all human beings. We must be treated equally in this life we are today. Maybe wa meu ata rais wa kesho. Maybe wa meu wa daktari ya kesho. Uyu maybe angekuwa ata mwalimu wa kesho. Ama angekuwa ata pasta haombe inchi wa kesho. You are making him to die. Because of your carelessness, you don't consider. You just obey the order, but you don't consider life of Kenya. This is very wrong, and the government should come out with immediate effect to save this situation the mother is passing through. Ladies and gentlemen, drop your opinion on this news today as i end my analysis at this point thank you and may you have a blessed hour